today we're working on my new Civic. We're going to be installing a stereo and hopefully try to get as detailed instruction as possible. So let's get straight to it. So for the first step, you're going to remove the shift knob. Once you have that off, you're going to want to go ahead and pry this lower panel off. You want to get at the top two corners of it because there are two tabs there that you do not want to break. Once you get those tabs off, you're going to want to go ahead and pry around and just pull the rest of the plastic off. Remove the shift boot. Once this is off, go ahead and disconnect the hazard light. All you have to do is unclip this. Then you can go ahead and remove the shift boot and panel altogether. Now you're going to want to remove the glove box. There are two plastic tabs in here that you can remove. You just pry the tabs and remove the whole rubber stop and the glove box should drop all the way down. As you can see here, these are the slits that those pop right out of. So you're going to go ahead and grab a ratchet with a decent extension and you're going to use an 8mm socket to loosen the bolt that is holding the stereo centerpiece in place. You can kind of see the bolt here where my finger is pointing at. To get to the other side, you're going to want to go ahead and remove this lower kick panel it's covering the fuses inside there. So you're going to twist that off and pull it off and you should be able to reach into the nut on the other side with that same 8mm socket. You don't have to take these bolts all the way out, just loosen them a decent amount and you can go ahead and start prying off the whole center console. You're going to want to pry from the lower end and once you've got it out, you're going to want to start to disconnect all the accessory clips. So you have these two for the fan and air conditioning temperature and another one down here. And then obviously as well, disconnect the stereo. Now there's this tricky one that was attached to the bracketry of the whole center console. You're going to use a screwdriver to pry open the tab and then it's helpful to have someone pull the whole cable forward. And she's out, fuck yes. Now you're going to go ahead and take out these bolts, there should be two on either side holding in the stereo to the cage. Now on this side it's a bit of a tight squeeze, you can either remove this black piece right there that is the connectors for the air conditioning and fan, or you can just use a wrench if you're lazy like me. And just like that, it should slide out once you got all the bolts off. Now if you're installing a doubled-in stereo, then you're going to want to remove this lower tray as well. That's held in by four screws with the Phillips head, and you're going to remove those two on either side. Now here I'm using a Phillips head bit, and I'm using a wrench to spin it and break it loose because of the tight space, and because I'm lazy and I did not want to remove the whole fan accessory. And then that should come right out too. Depending on what kind of head unit you're using, you're going to want to line up the holes with the bracketry and then use the screws to screw it right into the original cage. And it should sit pretty centered. Another option here is the front fascia just to make it look a little nicer. As I'm using a double din, we're going to remove this center bar. Once you remove that bar, you're just going to file off the edges just to give it a smoother finish and to remove anything else you might have missed. So you obviously have to install the wiring for the stereo. Now once you've got that all wired in, you can run in through here. What I am running has an optional auxiliary cord and USB connection and I'm going to run it to the glove box. 
Now you plug in the wiring from the stereo to the factory wiring. Now's a good time to test it to make sure everything works. Power. So you're going to want to reconnect all of the clips that we removed earlier for the AC fan and uh, the lower buttons. Once you've got everything connected, we're going to go ahead and place the whole center console back in. And you're going to make sure you line up the screws with the brackets that you removed them from. Now this can get a bit tricky with all the new wiring hanging around. So you want to make sure you've got enough space. You move to then reinstall the bolts on the side. Just snug them right up. Now another optional extra, we're drilling a hole here in the glove box so we can run the auxiliary cord and USB connection. Just making a little pilot hole, very small, easy to tear through the plastic. Then we just keep stepping up the drill bit size until we get a decent sized hole. Now I might have stepped up a bit too big here, but we did need a pretty decent sized hole for our USB connection. And nothing a little force cam fix, just kind of squeeze it right through. Then reinstall the tabs for the glove box. They just clip right back in. Then reinstall the lower panel with the clip and your shift boot, as well your shift knob. And once everything's all put together, you got your new front face installed. This is what it should look like. Oh, and that, boys and girls, is how you do it. <laughs>